The final process we are going to look at is deposition. Now we've looked at erosion, this is where the riverbank is eroded, transportation, how it's moved from one place to another. The final part is deposition. This is pretty much where the soil and the rocks and stones are deposited. What happens is, as the river goes from the upper course through the middle course to the lower course, it starts to slow down. As it slows down, it loses energy. As it loses energy, the bigger rocks have a lot more resistance and are able to remain where they are. Deposition is where, as the energy is lost, so the soil starts to get deposited because it hasn't got the energy to keep carrying it, it's just too heavy, so it puts it down. So that is what deposition is. If you have a look at this video, you will see a very good example of deposition where you have crystal clear water and then there are loads of stones littered throughout it. And as you can see, the water isn't strong enough to move it. The reason why the water isn't strong enough is because there hasn't been heavy rain. If we have a heavy downpour, there is a lot of water going on, it's able to provide more force and it can move the rocks further down. So deposition is where soil is deposited when it loses energy.